Who on earth are you? You don't look like the others. What others? Well, the mages who are hanging around these ruins over there. Are you one of that bunch then? Brave thing to run around here by yourself. Who are you? I'm sure you've heard of me before. I'm Alligator Jack, feared all over the country. I'm one of the most dangerous pirates around here. Together with Captain Greg, I've boarded more merchant vessels than I can count. You're looking at a living legend here. Do you know a fellow named Raven? Of course. He's the leader of the bandits to the east. What's your business with him? I've got to kill him. <laughs> what? You? How are you going to do that? Isn't that guy way out of your league? You won't even get close to him. The bandits he surrounded himself with will skin you alive first. You won't even get past their first outpost. The way you look, those bandits will get itchy fingers when they spot you a mile away. I've got a better idea. Come and join us. That'll give you time to think about it. Once you've tried our good homebrewed rum, things will look very different. I need a bandit's armor. What would you do with that? It'll only get you into trouble if you're seen with it. Everyone's going to take you for a bandit, and they will try to kill you. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? We used to have one in our pirate camp. But I don't know whether it's still there. Your captain's name is Greg? Right. He's the greatest pirate the sea ever spawned. I think I know your captain. I met him in Corinus. <laughs> Greg, in Corinus. Nonsense. Greg is out at sea after booty with some of the lads. The only thing that could bring Greg to Corinus would be one of the king's prison galleys. He's one of the most wanted men in the land. He'd never march into town voluntarily and have the royal guard throw him into prison. If you say so. Where's your pirate camp? See the cave passage over there. Go through it and continue west, and you'll come to our beach sooner or later. That's where our log huts are. I can take you there if you want, if you do me a favor first. And what would that be? I'll have to get the boys some meat before I can go back to camp. You're a strong fellow. I could use your help hunting. Interested? What is it you hunt? Only alligators, usually. They're no good for eating, and there aren't any left around here anyway. So I take what I can find. Swamp rats. What? Most beasts around here taste like old socks, or they're as tough as alligator meat. Those fat swamp rats are the only thing that is remotely edible. Tell me more about you pirates. We've been living here for years. Back before the war, everyone knew us from here to the mainland. Our flag alone would spread terror among the crews of merchant vessels. But those times are past now. It's been weeks since we've run into a merchant vessel. Our Captain Greg left to try and catch another. The rest of us are sitting here in camp, twiddling our thumbs until he comes back. I hope he'll bring back lots of booty. Let's go hunting. All right. With two people, that's child's play. Are you ready? Yes? Great. Just stay right behind me. Nothing to be had there.
One less monster around. The Hollow. There should be some of those beasts around here. Follow me. One less monster around. One less monster around. One less monster around. I was afraid of that. What? This handful of beasts here is only about half of what I need. Now we'll have to enter the canyon. Watch out. It's very dangerous deeper down in the canyon. If you hold your life dear, stay very close to me. What is there in the canyon? We avoid that area if it's at all possible. That's where you'll find razors. Tough beasts, those. Stay away from them if you want to live another day. Fine, let's go. All right. Wait a minute. Here, take the healing potion. Nothing to be had there. Come on. You're not from around here, are you? You seem to have traveled far. Busy? Don't even ask. Henry wants me to chop down all the trees here. Henry? He's the leader of our troop. He stands around at the camp entrance all the time, talking big. More dedicated service to the community and all that crap. 
but he doesn't lift a finger himself. Where's your camp? Just continue down this path here, to the west. You'll see Henry standing there soon enough. Henry is your leader? Yes, the leader of our raiding troop. Our captain is Greg, but he's not here at the moment. I need to move on. Hey, when you get to our camp, give Henry a message from me. The trees around here are damn stubborn. He'll have to wait for his wood a while longer. Tell him that. Nothing there. Wait a minute. Here, take the healing potion. Well done. We can use someone like you. You brought down one of those beasts on your first hunt. Not bad. Here, take this swamp rat meat to lazy old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. You'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe that'll make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy too. Can you teach me something? Sure, I'm a good hunter and I can show you how to skin animals and pull their teeth. I'll teach you if you like. Teach me. What is it you want to learn? There is nothing else I can teach you. You have become too good. Always make the cut at the belly, or the quality will suffer. If you're looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean.
halt, friend or foe. Friend. Anyone can say that. I don't know you. What do you want here? I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. Huh? For what? Don't make such a fuss. There's plenty of stuff here in camp that might interest you. You got some gold, haven't you? Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Aha, and who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great, I might have known. It's taken forever again. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't, Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and it's Captain Greg to you. Have I made myself clear? He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. What are you building the palisade for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with them and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it, though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll, after all. Let me in. Mm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. 300 gold pieces. Or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. If you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. He listened to the wrong people. Do you really believe that? Uh, I'm staying out of it. That's not right.
<sighs> I'm here to deliver some meat. Ah, uh, I need a, a sip to wake me up. That's better. So again, uh, what do you want? I'm here to deliver some meat. From Alligator Jack? I remember. Right. The meat. Give it here. What are you doing here? The Greg made me commander of one of the two raiding troops. I'm responsible for keeping the camp supplied. Alligator Jack sees to that. I'm also responsible for keeping those beasts you find out here well away from the camp. That's what the boys do. I told him I don't want to see a single beast left around here when Greg comes back. Do you ever do anything yourself? Hey, none of that lip. Mine is the most important task of all. I train my people. I make them into the best and most fearless fighters who ever sailed these waters. And it's not like the lads do all that work for nothing. They get a good sized bag of gold for their efforts. Can you train me as well? Sure, I can show you how to fight with one-handed weapons. Teach me. I want to join your troop. <laughs> My troop? My troop is hanging out at the beach. Those boys won't lift a finger until the captain is back. You can count on that. But if you want to show everybody what you're made of, feel free to work on the northern beach. It's full of lurkers and who knows what else. Take them on by yourself, and you'll earn the respect of the people. Welcome to my troop. <laughs> I'll go lie back down. 